Here comes the field of trotting fillies for tonight's third and final division of the Ohio Sire Stakes here in this opening leg. Number one is Rosie's Legend, owned by Vando Betty. John Froelich, driven by Robin Miller. Two is Scored Well, owned by Tom Updegrove Sr. with Jeff Smith. Three, Dame Iliad, owned by Peter and Gail McCann. Robert Pierce, driven by Jeff Fout. For Win With Val, owned by HPS Consulting, RFV the second incorporated with Ed Reno Jr. Five is Most Becoming, owned by Billy Joe and James Crane. Billy Crane will be on the bike. Six, Only a Snip, owned by Martin Scharf and Dave Rankin. Seven, Mrs. Jane, owned and driven by Pius Sunlin. Eight, She's a Baby, owned by Donald Fries with Claire Umholtz. Number nine is Paula Quite Polite, owned by Mark Hubbard, Fred Long, Richard Berry, and driver Paul Ungeschick. Ten from the second tier, T-Tars, Yakety Yak, owned by George Feltner. David Miller will be in the sulky. That is the field for the eighth, Ohio Sire Stakes third. Field for tonight's eighth race has taken that final turn on their way back to the starting. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting four and nine. Win with Val and Paula Quite Polite are both off stride at the start. Moving out from between horses, only a snip takes the lead. Most becoming drives in their second. Mrs. Jane, three deep on the outside to third. They're down the back stretch. Ranging up on the outside. She's a baby is on the move to fourth. Dame Iliad gets away nicely fifth as they make their way to the turn. Scored well. Followed by the rail filly, Rosie's legend. After that, T-Tars, Yakety Yak, and the trailers are win with Val. And Paula quite polite, and they open up here 29-2. and two. Trotting past the stands, off stride further back in the field. That's the one, Rosie's legend. Only a snip, two to five favorites secure the top. Only a snip leads the way. Mrs. Jane is stalking in second. Around the clubhouse turn, most be coming third. Here's Dame Iliad ranging up on the outside to fourth. After that, she's a baby in fifth. T-Tars yakety yak as they hit the half mile pole. Alongside scored well. Big gap now to the trailers. Paula quite polite. Win with Val and Rosie's legend, 101 and 2. Straining out for their long journey down the back stretch. The favorite is Jiggy Joggin. It's only a snip who continues to lead the way. Mrs. Jane in second. Dame Elliott trotting up on the outside. Third, most becoming, becoming fourth. Driving up on the far outside to fifth. Scored well. T-Tars, yakety yak. And along the rail, that she's a baby. Racing by three quarters, only a snip has faced and met every challenge so far in 132 and four. Moving around the far turn, only a snip. We're gonna take just a little bit off the top, continues to lead the way. Dame Iliad draws alongside in second. Mrs. Jane waits for the passing lane in the third. Most becoming is fourth, middle of the racetrack. She's a baby fifth. The favorite is all in. Dame Iliad now gets the lead. Only a snip is fighting back. And here comes Pius up the rail. Mrs. Jane wins it. Here comes seven, Mrs. Jane, and the photo sign comes down. Photograph showing. Three, Dame Iliad up second. Six, only a snip third. Number eight, she's a baby fourth. It's official. Here's Pius Sumlin and his Mrs. Jane. Two-year-old brown filly by Stone King out of Fair Hazel by Neville the Impulse. Overrated and trained by Canton, Ohio's Pius Sumlin. Trotting them out here in 203 and 1 to establish a lifetime best. Seven, Mrs. Jane, the winner. Trophy tonight by Mary Garrity and Ann Doolin. Exact at 12.04.80. The try, $7,035.60. The box, $3,517.80. Windows are now up and on tonight's ninth race. Post time in 13 minutes at 10.14. Next post in 13 minutes. Start of the final, pick three.
top down, Rosie's left. Jackety-yak, whistle.